The Customs Anti-Narcotic Unit and the Ghana Police Force have discovered explosives at a Region 4 property as they follow local leads in the massive drug bus in Belgium. The discovery was confirmed by Home Affairs Minister Robson Ben Monday morning when approached for an update on the domestic investigations in relation to the 11.5 tons of cocaine found in a container which was shipped from Guyana to Belgium. Ben said a number of raids were carried out over the last two days by law enforcement officials. These raids took them to several houses as they followed local leads. There were a number of houses searched. Uh, I'm aware that care was taken to enter a particular house. Uh, they appear to be a rigged up uh, explosive arrangement uh, at the normal entrance to that house, the issue is being reviewed too. Uh, but yes, the, the efforts of the law enforcement, uh, the Kanu and the police are um, being attended to by certain risks in the matter. He said while the government has given its European, Belgium and American law enforcement officials the assurance of vigorous investigations here, this is a testimony to the risk involved. A concerned Ben told the newsroom that he is extremely alarmed that the bust and that the fact that the shipment was allowed to pass through Guyana surveillance systems. I have to say that we are extremely alarmed at the fact of uh, the shipment, of the fact of it escaping are being allowed to pass through the surveillance systems in terms of uh, container scanners, uh, container checks, and all those things in relation to the matter. The thought is that this um, activity could not have happened overnight, that it had to be in preparation and planning for a long period of time and that it have taken quite a bit of time to plan and do the logistics and to, I think, to compromise persons and fooling others too in respect of making the shipment. So it had to be several months in preparation. Meanwhile, head of the Customs Anti-Narcotic Unit, Kanu, James Singh, told the newsroom that three employees from the Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, and a broker were arrested in connection with the huge drug bust. Detectives are still hunting for a local shipper, Marlon Primo, of 701 Commons Lodge East Coast Demerara and 69 Atlanticville East Coast Demerara. The bus was reported by Belgian Times as the largest in the world. The massive load of cocaine left Guyana on September 25 and was opened in Belgium on October 27. The illegal substance was disguised as scrap metal and placed inside a steel container, which was in turn packed into a sea container and loaded into a transatlantic vessel. Local authorities found the ship stopped in Guadeloupe for a few days and are now looking at the container seals to see whether they were changed. Kurt Campbell, Newsroom.